right, so this is gonna be a video unlike any other video on this channel to this date, and that's because I'm not the one that's editing this video. Which is kind of scary because I'm not the one who's controlling what happens to this footage. But why don't I introduce you to who is editing this? Oh man, we're doing this now? Uh... You're embarrassing me. Come on, get on with it already. Hey everyone, I'm Daniel, and I'm gonna be editing this video. All right, now you know who's editing this and they're gonna do a really good job with this edit. You're gonna, you're gonna do a good job, right? I got this, Maddie. Maybe just stall him for a little. But I'm gonna try to film this like I normally would so it's as real world as possible. Uh, what do I normally do in my videos? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know. In this video we would talk about seven essential, imperative, crucial, necessary, indispensable tips for filmmaking beginners if you're just starting out and I, I apologize if you're not doing these and you don't consider yourself a beginner. Number one is to know your camera inside and out. Your shutter speed, ISO, f-stop, white balance, frame rates, anything and everything in your camera you should know. And this is because then you can focus on the more important things like framing, lighting, the story, all those things that are way more crucial than just, just the settings. So know your camera inside and out. Keep practicing those settings till you can do them in your sleep, no problems. You never have to think about what settings am I changing and why. And then number two would be to use a stabilizer. In this case, I'm just using like a Gorilla Joby monopod and because I'm on the one wheel, it should be fairly smooth. Uh, but use a stabilizer. Nobody likes shaky footage and, and saying you're shooting handheld, don't use that as a cop out. And then number three, learn how to edit. Even if you don't wanna be an editor yourself, learn how to edit because it's super important for when you're filming. That way you know what kind of clips do you need for, to go from one section to the next section, what kind of filler clips, what coverage do you need. If you're not editing in your head while you're shooting, you're gonna miss out on a lot of shots. So make sure to edit so you kind of understand what's going on in the editing process. And speaking of editors, I'll let my uh, future editor take the next two tips here. Thanks, Maddie. Tip number four. And this one's kind of a two-parter, so don't tell Maddie I'm giving away free tips. First part is to learn from others around you. We live in a day and age where information is readily available to us and it's all free. Take a guy like Maddie, for example, who on the weekly gives you free tips on how to become a better videographer, better photographer, better editor. So the least you can do is watch these videos and implement the things that you learn. That will instantly make you a better filmmaker. The second part to it is not to be discouraged by the people that you're learning from. Yes, Maddie and a lot of other filmmakers on YouTube are incredible at what they do, but you have to remember that that's what they're doing day in and day out. If you can implement what you're learning from them and then keep practicing it and use it on the regular, you will be just as good. You will be probably even better. So remember, learn from others for free and don't be discouraged by them even if they're better than you right now because one day you can be better than them. Tip number five, and this is something that I wish I knew when I was starting out. Always shoot way more than you think you need. 
whether it's a 30 second scene or 30 seconds of b-roll film way more than you think because it's better to have too much footage and then not use some of it than to not have enough footage to work with and I've been in that situation before so it's absolutely crucial that you shoot way more footage than you need. Oh, hey, thanks for covering for me. Uh, tip number six I would say is get a decent mic. Do yourself a favor and get a good mic because Bad audio just, it's the worst. People are gonna hate it. People are not gonna like watching your stuff. It's not the coolest thing to invest in, but just do it, it's worth it. Number seven, and lastly, I would say just have fun with it. If you're not having fun while you're filmmaking, you're, you're just not gonna learn as much. So figure out what kind of filmmaking and, and what roles fit you best so that you can actually have a lot of fun with it because that's honestly the best way to learn. That's how I learned everything in the beginning. I just, I just had fun with it. I thought it was just a fun thing to do. I didn't care about getting paid or, or getting recognition or anything. I just liked doing it. So I, I just kept learning. Just have fun with it. Just have, just have fun. Fun, fun. Guys, I hijacked the outro. But don't worry, I won't do anything bad. I'll just do the usual, like, hey, if you like the video, uh, maybe drop a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. I really would. Um, and subscribe to Maddie if you're not already, although I don't know why you'd be watching this video if you haven't. Anyway, subscribe if you're not and hit that bell and get notifications so you know when he posts new videos. Um, I just want to wrap it up by saying I'm super grateful for the opportunity. I hope you guys liked the video and, you know, I hope to be around a little bit longer. Thanks, guys.